Yes, Marcus. Dimitri, oh, what did you feel was the key for you to win this fight tonight? Yeah. You know, uh, all fight, uh, I should be focused. And uh, I saw how he threw hard punches. He threw only hard punches. And after hard punches, he a little bit tired. Tired, tired. And, you know, Canelo is the good fighter for counter puncher. But I make him to be more forward, and I was a counter puncher today. It was a key. Yeah, Dimitri, uh, you outlanded Canelo 152 to 84 on punch stats. Are you surprised how easy it was for you tonight? Uh, not I, I'm not. Uh, I just felt that I won fight and maybe no I, I don't know it <laughs> a lot of uh, you've had a lot of criticism that your fights weren't entertaining I think you answered all those questions tonight by having the fight of your life are you impressed by your output tonight in the fight Ты сам восхищен тем что ты сделал в этом бою многие раньше не оценивали you know uh, my last fights uh, I didn't enjoy it in the fight because it wasn't the challenge for me. I just uh, defend my titles against some guys and everyone bet on me. And now I was enjoyed the fight and I saw how, and I heard the, uh, a lot of fans was uh, yelling, you know, and it's uh, motivated me today. And I really enjoyed today the fight. Did Canelo's greatness bring out the greatness in you? То, что его величие из тебя тоже извлекло лучшее твои качества. Of course, if my opponent is better, I'll show my better uh, side. Dimitri, were you expecting a better Canelo Alvarez tonight? Ты ожидал, что он будет лучше сегодня? No, I didn't expect that he was better. Uh, I expect like that. I believed in myself. You know, I, I believed I could win. Uh, I knew that he has a hard punches and he will uh, beat my, on my body, on my arm, and he will beat uh, left hooks. Uh, I expected that, and he did it. Dimitri, uh, congratulations, first of all. Congratulations for this great fight. Uh, we're asking about the rematch. Canelo is asking for the rematch, and what is your opinion about this, please? <clears throat> no, first of all, my dream is uh, to be the undisputed champion. And uh, I got this opportunity to fight against the best guy. Uh, and uh, I took this fight for... Без каких-то особых причин, там, условий, да? Если говорить об рематче, то давайте договариваться. Но уже будут другие условия. I took this fight on, uh, on terms of getting the opportunity. That's all I cared about. And I appreciate the opportunity that was given to me. And right now my goal is to be... Um, to, to receive what I deserve. If the rematch is going to happen, I just have to make sure that I, I get what, what I deserve because I don't think that um, even before, in the, in the previous fight as a champion, I got what I deserve. Dimitri, uh, congratulations on the win. We talked about this last month in Indio. Did this fight feel any different to you at all with all the people and all the pressure and facing the game's biggest name in the sport? Did it feel different than any other fight? <laughs> yeah, it was di different, of course, because uh, all week I was sitting in my room and was boring, you know, I can't <laughs> went out the room and I tired about it, you know, and uh, I see how attention, attention this fight. How much, how much? How much attention? This and fight? Dimitri, you entered first despite being the champion and then Canel had this fancy entrance with the platform, the fireworks. As you're waiting inside the ring, what's going through your mind as you're being made to wait? Uh, to, to be honest, uh, for me it doesn't matter which uh, will be I first or second, doesn't matter for me. I just wanted this fight. I just needed this uh, fighter against me doesn't matter which sound he has which sound i have how he went in the ring doesn't matter what for me you know i just wanted to fight him and uh, when he 
go, was going to the ring and uh, I heard the crowd and I really enjoyed how crowd was yelling, you know, I, I see on the stadium and was enjoyed. No, I, I didn't talk. But I just said him, he's a really great champion. I, I respect him. He, he gives me a lot today. Uh, he gives me the he gave me this this fight and he gave me a lot of uh, uh, experience. Dimitri Thank you, King. Canelo. Congratulations. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait till you get a mic, please. Hey there, Dimitri. Congratulations on your victory. To those who are underdogs or underestimated or doubted, what is your message to them? Come on. Для болельщиков, которые сегодня недооценивали тебя. Ah, you know. I... I have a message for people who bet on me today, you know, who won. <laughs> Congratulations, guys! <laughs> but uh, who didn't believe in me, uh, it's just their uh, opinion and I appreciate them that they bet on Canelo, they believed in Canelo and, and it, it's normal, you know, it's normal, it's no problem. Dmitry. Congrats, first of all. You just beat the pound-for-pound uh, pound number one. Do you consider yourself uh, you took his spot? To be honest, no. To, to be honest, no. I just beat a guy who wanted my belt in my mind, you know, today. And he was uh, uh, super middleweight. And yes, he had a belt in uh, light heavyweight, but I don't... Uh, feel myself that I'm the king today. No, I just beat Canelo. I just better than him today. And the second question is, uh, boxing-wise, what do you do different in the rematch? For boxing, what do you do different in the rematch? To be honest, I don't know. You know, I don't have a rematch yet. <laughs> I don't know what I will eat today or what I will do tomorrow. <laughs> um, Dimitri, go ahead. Mike Coppinger, ESPN. Dimitri, congratulations on an amazing performance. Apologize if you already asked this, but you had to win the 12th round on all three scorecards to avoid a draw. I know the judges got the, the, the right fighter, but, you know, speak on that if you can. Like, that seems to be out of line. Uh, most of us at ringside had a 10-2 for you or 9-3. So the judges were trying to, you know, maybe rob you, it seems. Um, a little bit thought when I heard the scores, uh, 115, 113. I thought maybe uh, <laughs> I lost today, but I felt I won, you know. But the, I expect that it's everything against me today. Even uh, Eddie, he's congratulating me, smiling. He's happy he's, for me, he's back but not too much happy for me, you know. Question for, for Eddie. Um, I, I guess you could still go through with the Triple G fight. That seems to be, you know, actually makes it kind of seems more attractive now after this. But does that fight seem kind of snake bitten to you? I mean, this is crazy. Uh, I think that, you know, Canelo against Dimitri Bivol, too, is probably the biggest fight in boxing right now. You know, I mean, but it's going to be down to Canelo. And obviously, we'll speak to Dimitri and, and Vadim. But I can't see him not wanting to accept the challenge. I said in the, in the build up, you know, it's like he, Canelo wants to handicap himself and fight these big, great champions. To, to test himself. And tonight, it was maybe a bridge too far against a, a great light heavyweight world champion. But I, I, you know, I'm sure he'll be here soon. But knowing Sal, I would think he would only want one fight, which is the rematch with Dimitri Bivol. How'd you score? I love score fights. Uh, I had it probably three rounds to Canelo, something like that. Uh, sorry, to, to Dimitri. Yeah. Dimitri, um, everyone at your division has been talking about the better BF Smith fight and they kind of overlooked you in, in this fight. You've been 175 champ for, for a while now. Did you kind of have that motivation like for this fight saying like, uh, I'm a pretty good light heavyweight too myself and no one's really talking about me? У тебя есть такое мнение, что как бы ты тоже один из лучших в полутяжелом весе, но тебе не говорят достаточно или ты недооценил? You know, f for me enough uh, that uh, I have a belt, I know I am the one of the best. Even uh, nobody told me this. Uh, 
you know, and uh, I don't feel I am the best light heavyweight division. I don't feel it because I don't have all belts. You know, if I have all belts, I will feel myself I am the best. But now I am one of the best. Dimitri, mm -hmm. Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. Coming in, we know you had the height and the reach. At what point in the fight did you know that it was frustrating him and you were in control regardless of the power punches he was trying to land? В какой момент ты почувствовал, что ты контролируешь бой, независимо от того, что он пытался там сильными ударами попасть по тебе? I think uh, from the end of the fight, uh, I see, I see him, I see his uh, punches, uh, what he wanna do. Сначала. From the yeah, beginning. from the beginning, from the beginning. Uh, from the beginning of the fight, yeah. yeah. To me. Dimitri, can you describe what happened in the fifth round when you had Canelo against the Robs and he like did a gesture to you and you responded? Can you describe that? And also, who do you dedicate this fight to? In the sixth round, can you repeat, please? In the fifth round, there was a big uh, sequence when uh, oh, Dimitri had Canelo on the ropes. Got it. Можешь описать, когда в пятом раунде, когда он был на канатах, у тебя была хорошая серия попаданий? To be honest, I don't remember this moment. <laughs> just I, I just beat him when I see I can uh, I can catch them. When I see I can't catch him and I don't have a uh, you know power for this. I didn't punch. I, Dimitri. Кому посвящаешь эту победу? Он спросил. Ah, this victory for all people who from small, small city and who want to achieve a lot. I вот эта победа для всех вот людей. I want to dedicate to all those people because и кто кто просто чем-то занимается и верит в себя. Вот эта вот победа посвящается им. To all the people that are doing something, whatever they're doing, and they, they want to achieve something, it's, it's possible. And I, I want to dedicate to all, all those people. Dimitri, congratulations. Where was your family? Were they here? Or were they back in Russia? Were they watching? And have you spoken to them yet? Uh, <clears throat> my family in Russia now. And uh, I didn't spoke to them yet. Uh, and... Uh, my wife didn't watch my fights, uh, and my mother didn't watch my fights. I, I don't want to... Ever? That, ever. You know, I don't want to see them my fights. After fight, no problem. See, but uh, in during the fight, they don't watch my fights. All, all, all women in my family, no watching fight. But do they know you've won? <laughs> do they, are they aware you've won the fight? Do they know? know? Of course, I. They know. They. Yeah, now, they now, talking. They know now. They, okay. <laughs> okay. How soon would you be ready for another fight? Whoever it is, how long do you think it will? How many months do you think you'll be off? Кто бы это ни был, когда ты думаешь, что будешь готов снова? I don't know yet. I I need a rest couple uh, couple weeks maybe. Then we will talk with my manager. <laughs> How did it happen that you knew during the fight that you could handle Canelo's power, which is a hell of a thing to say given what he's done in recent fights, but when you knew that you could tolerate his power, what did it do for you in regards to freeing your fists and just letting you fight the fight you wanted to fight? Uh, what did he do to freeing your fists and just letting you fight the fight you wanted to fight? You know, I just expect that he that he will punch me hard and uh, I was I was ready for this I tried to give him to do this uh, not for my hand for my arms I tried to uh, block myself and then I tried to give him back when he tired you know <laughs> because uh, because we, we had the good sparring partners uh, sim similar uh, work like Canelo. You talked about the arena being against you tonight. Have you, this whole camp, I mean, with all, everything's been written about Russia and everything like that. Have you, have you felt as if the whole world is kind of against you? So, like, not, this was nothing new tonight? Тебя было такое ощущение, что весь мир против тебя? Или ничего нового? No, not, not new. I, I know how people love Canelo. 
and uh, it's normal, you know, he's the really biggest uh, fighter in the world. He f- he's the champion for four uh, weight classes. Uh, he has uh, four belts in uh, of course he, of course uh, all people on his side and no problem for me. Dimit- Dimitri Dimitri back here. Congratulations on on the big win right here. Uh, Maestro over here. I'm over ah. here. Congratulations on the big win, Vadim, you as well. You just spoke about how everyone was on Canelo's side. You were the champion defending the light heavyweight championship of the world. You were announced second. You know, you, sorry, you were announced first. You, your ring walk was first. Your national anthem wasn't played. I noticed that as well. They played the U.S. anthem and the Mexican anthem. They didn't play the Russian anthem. What, was any of that motivation going into this fight? Getting the respect of a champion defending his title. Типа дало мне это, да? То, что были какие-то ограничения, это мотивировало. I understand why this happened. Why I walked second because Canelo is the biggest name and the rules, all rules, not for him. <laughs> you know? Oh, no problem. Give me the just give me the fight. <laughs> yeah, he he first on the. Uh, on the posters, no problem. The rules not for him, no problem. Just give me the fight. Uh, I agree. You don't. Uh, no problem for me. Ju- I I'm I'm really happy that I had the fight. It's uh, I really happy. Thank you, Eddie, for this fight, and thank you everyone who made this fight. I, t- I told him that I could fight Eddie and try to get him to walk second, and Mitch is like. I don't really care if I want to walk first or second. Guys, one more question for, for the champion. Any MCC? Any MCC? Hey guys, thank you. And for questions uh, to the floor, to to Canelo, please raise your hands and wait for the microphone. Thank you. Canelo, buenas noches. Oye, eh, has platicado de lo que representó su momento para que recompongas tu carrera la derrota con Mayweather. El estirar la liga tanto que tú aceptaste ir al peso del que los otros campeones semicompletos como Beterbiev y Kovalev evitaron por años... ¿Te hace pensar que ya aquí es el límite o de plano quieres esa revancha y seguir buscando más en este peso? No, mira, la verdad es que me siento muy bien. Yo, en lo personal, no pongo ninguna excusa. Eh, creo que no perdí la pelea. Creo que me ganó cuatro, cinco rounds máximo. Eh, en los últimos rounds me fatigué un poco, eh, eh, pero obviamente me siento bien. Creo que hice las cosas como tenía que hacerlas y, 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 y me siento bien, me siento bien, vamos a ver, vamos a, a ir y pensar qué es lo que vamos a hacer, pero me siento bien, no, no creo que, que perdí la pelea como te digo, eh, perdí algunos rounds, en los últimos rounds me fatigué un poco, creo que por el peso quizás eh, no me sentía al 100%. So the question was, um... Well, obviously, we, you, you were lost to Floyd Mayweather, but looking at this fight that you took, that many um, people in this division that, you're, that you fought at tonight didn't want anything to do with, um, can you tell us your feelings and what's next for you? So, and the answer from Canelo was, so personally, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm not giving any, ex- any excuses. I do feel that like I won the fight. Um, I think perhaps, you know, maybe I lost four or five rounds, but I definitely didn't lose the fight. Um, I, th- I think I got a little bit tired towards the, you know, the final rounds, but I felt good. Um, so we'll see what's next. As I say, I don't feel like I lost the fight. Maybe some rounds. Um, maybe the, you know, the weight was a slight issue and made me feel not 100% uh, during the fight. I think I'm looking for the fights that are difficult to get up to no estar en, en el peso que me siento cómodo en las 168 libras que es donde me siento cómodo por eso subo de peso para buscar más 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 retos que es lo que me gusta y, y así es esto no así es esto así es el boxeo y, y, y es, es lo que estoy buscando no la grandeza 
Yes, sir. So, so um, I think I'm always going up looking for difficult fights. Um, I went up and looked for this difficult fight. That naturally, I feel good at 168, but I'm always up for challenging. You know, I'm always up for taking on new challenges. But that's that's boxing. Tonight, I was looking to, you know, looking for greatness. Saul, piensas que te hizo falta otra estrategia para esta pelea y cómo te sientes so sobre la puntuación? No, como te digo, creo que me ganó cuatro o cinco rounds máximo. Eh, eh, a los eh, al último round me sentí un poco cansado, quizás por el peso. Eh, necesito ir a ver bien la pelea, obviamente, que es lo que lo que tuve que hacer mejor. Pero como te digo, eh, creo que en lo, en lo personal perdí cuatro o cinco rounds máximo. So the question was, um, can you tell us a little bit about what you feel about the fight and 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 you know the way it was scored? Um, and Kenel's answer was, well, I think as I said, four or five rounds, I feel like he he won maximum. Um, I felt a little bit fatigued uh, going into those final rounds. Perhaps it was because of the weight, but you know, I personally, I feel, as I say, that he only won four or five rounds. Canelo, buenas noches, eh, Eddie. También, eh, bueno, creo que lo comentaste ya. Es de hombres. Aceptas tu derrota. Lo dijiste en el cuadrilátero, caray. Felicidades por eso, ¿no? Porque mucha gente puede decir, no la perdí. Pero qué haré diferente para esta revancha en este mismo peso, porque seguramente que es la revancha. ¿Qué harías diferente para todo esto? Pues no sé, como te digo, eh, hay que ir, eh, ver la pelea, uh, ver la pelea y qué es lo que podemos hacer nuevo. So, Canelo, sorry. So the question was, um, to, in terms of tonight, um, when you lost the fight, you you know gave congratulations. I'd like to give you congratulations for the way you accepted defeat. But in terms of a rematch, what would you do different? Um, and the answer from Canelo was, we'll have to see. I'll have to watch it back and work out what we would need to do differently. Canelo, el reto sigue, dijiste, esto no se queda así, quisiera que profundizaras en esto, esta sería la primera pregunta, por favor. Así es, yo soy una persona muy competitiva, soy una persona muy competitiva y esto no se queda así, eh, me quedan muchos años por delante y voy a regresar muy fuerte, créanme que, que voy a regresar mmm, muy fuerte. So the first question was, uh, the first question was, you obviously mentioned in the ring afterwards that this will not stay this way. This is, doesn't end here. Um, can, you, can you tell me a little bit, can you go into more depth about this? Yeah, so as I said, this, this doesn't end in this, this, this way. I think I'm a very competitive person. I've got many uh, years ahead of me and you know, I'm going to come back stronger. Y, y Canelo, no sé si estés de acuerdo conmigo y quizá Eddie quiera opinar acerca de esto. Hoy en el boxeo mundial no hay otra pelea más interesante que la revancha de Canelo Vivol, al menos en mi opinión. ¿Piensan ustedes lo mismo y si pueden extender un poco la respuesta en esto? Sí, sin duda alguna. Eh, sí queremos la revancha, como te digo, como dice Saúl también. Sentimos que no perdimos la pelea, sí perdimos algunos rounds, pero no creo que hayamos perdido la pelea. Eh, no nos gusta buscar excusas, somos mexicanos antes que nada. Eh, somos un gran equipo, Saúl es un, un peleador eh, ganador. Como ganadores, pues vamos a, a ver si hacemos la revancha y este y ya veremos nosotros como equipo qué es lo que tenemos que qué es lo que tenemos que mejorar para dar un mejor rendimiento y, y eso que, que es muy común que dicen que qué estrategias y las estrategias, o sea las estrategias arriba del ring al final con una pésima estrategia es ganan peleas por un golpe al último round. Entonces, creo que hay que reconocer también el trabajo que hizo Vivol. Eh, Saúl es un tremendo peleador, es un peleador, de, un deportista ganador y como tal vamos a, vamos a regresar y vamos a regresar fuertes y, y es todo. So the question was, um, would you agree, both of you, uh, Eddie Saúl, that there's no bigger... Um, fight in boxing than the rematch with Bivol. Uh, and the answer from Eddie was, uh, yes, there's no doubt about that. And uh, we want that rematch. We felt that we didn't lose the fight, just some rounds. And, you know, like, we're a, we're a strong team and, and, and we're fighters, you know, as, as good Mexicans. We're a good team and we're winners. We want that rematch to see what we could do better. Um, and when you talk about strategies in boxing, people can go in with terrible strategies and, and win things in the last round. I think you all also have to give good credit to Bivol and what he did. But so, Saul is a winner and he will come back stronger. Saul, si nos puede responder la misma pregunta, por favor. Me la haces de nuevo porque ya se me olvidó. Sí, mucho gusto. Si para ti es la, la pelea más importante a nivel mundial, la, la revancha... De... Sí, sí, sin duda. Es lo que quiero, es lo que quiero y, y créame que lo vamos a hacer, lo vamos a hacer mucho mejor.
Hola, so it was Canelo. the same, same question, and the answer was um, yes, we want it, and we want the rematch, and we're going to do much better in the rematch. Hola, Canelo, gracias por tu tiempo. Um, cuando, when you're on the ring, and you're tired, and you're exhausted, and you feel you have no more energy left to give, what is it that motivates you to give that extra ounce of energy, that extra punch? No, obviamente mi orgullo. El orgullo, más que nada, es lo que me motiva y es lo que me mantiene todavía más. So, the question was, you know, well, it was in English, so it doesn't matter, don't have to be translated. Um, so, obviously, pride keeps me going, that motivation to want to continue fighting, that's, that's what spurs me on. Uh, Canelo, there isn't, hasn't been much debate about who won the fight. Uh, in the ring, you seem to accept defeat. What is it that you feel the judges missed, and what did you do that you felt should have gotten you the victory tonight? Yo creo que muchas veces los los jueces se dejan impresionar cuando estoy bloqueando eh, eh, los golpes. Eh, muchas veces hago rolling y se dejan impresionar por eso. Y creo que eso fue lo que lo que lo que fallé un poco ahí. So I feel that it was you know often judges. Um, don't score things that, that perhaps, or they score things that perhaps they shouldn't. You know, for, for example, I was blocking shots and I was rolling punches, and I think sometimes that, that's where the mistake may have been made. Canelo, your power has been so destructive and effective in recent fights from Kovalev forward. And I know, like in tonight's fight, there were clearly moments where you were, you know, sizing up and trying to just blast him out of there. W was there a point during the fight where you said, this is kind of frustrating to me, like, this guy should no. be out of there by now? No, no, no. Eh, hay que darle crédito a Vivol. Vivol es un peleador que es, es difícil de, 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 de golpearlo en, en, en la cabeza. No es fácil. Hay que darle crédito también al peleador que tienes enfrente. No, no, I think you have to give the credit to Vivol. He's a very difficult fighter to hit around the head area. So I think you have to give him credit. Canelo, what goes through your mind right now? Nothing. I'm, uh, me siento orgulloso, me siento orgulloso porque soy una persona muy competitiva que se sale de su zona de confort para subir a las 175 libras a otro peso que no es el mío para, para, para buscar lo mejor en mi carrera, ¿no? Eh, me siento orgulloso de lo que estoy haciendo, no me siento avergonzado, ¿por qué? Porque eh, eh, busco esos retos que, que muchos no lo hacen, ¿por qué? Por miedo a, a perder y... So I'm I'm proud, you know, I'm a very proud and I'm a very competitive person. Um, you know, I've gone up and I've, I've fought at 175. I've gone out of my comfort zone to, into fight in a, at a weight that's not mine. Um, and there's no shame in that. You know, others, I'm looking for challenges that others would be scared to take on because they might lose. So that's what I'm here for and that's what I'm wanting to do. Y, y creo que eso es lo que buscan todos, ¿no? Eh, el no decir, ah, eh, ya sabemos que va a ganar. Soy una persona que busca los retos, que sabes que, que es 50-50 y eso es lo que, lo, que, lo que creo que esperan todos, ¿no? And I think it's about, you know, nobody wants to see fights where people know who's going to win. It's about those 50-50 fights, that's what people want to see. So, were you hurt at any point in the fight? No, no. And you said that uh, obviously you're chasing grace, greatness, the 175 pound division, this is your second fight. Do you see a full career ahead for you at 175 or are you just focusing one fight at a time and trying to avenge the loss to Bavol first, whether you think the future after that? Si sí, sí, te ves en un, fut, eh, un futuro peleando en ese, en ese peso, de 175. Primero. Pues la verdad es que mi, mi peso donde me siento mejor es en las 168 libras, eh, pero como te digo, vamos a, vamos a ir y vamos a ver todo porque sí queremos esa, esa revancha. So, my most natural weight, my most comfortable is 168, and that's where I feel best. So, we're going to go and see and see if we can, you know, we're going to take on this rematch. Ya está. Una pregunta aquí. Para pa Canelo y otra para Don Brenoso. Ganaste contra Kovalev. ¿Puedes comparar la experiencia entre las dos peleas? Y Eddie, ¿puede hablar, por favor, de las diferencias entre la preparación de, de las dos peleas? La primera de Kovalev. Tú, chale. Pues la diferencia es de los estilos. Kovalev es un peleador que iba más al frente, trabaja más las piernas y 
creo que Vivol es un peleador más técnico, un peleador que trabaja muy bien su distancia y siempre lo dije en las, en las entrevistas que era un peleador complicado, un peleador de los mejores que saben utilizar su distancia y, y creo que, que hizo un gran trabajo. So I think, uh, could you tell me about the fight? Uh, it's a question for both Eddie and Canelo. Can you tell me about the Kovalev fight that you had and the difference and the different way that you prepared for that fight? Um, and Eddie's answer was, um, it's different because we're talking about different styles. Kovalev is someone who likes to, is a front foot fighter, um, good footwork. Bivol is more of a technical fighter who looks to manage distance in a different way. Um, I said before the fight that it was going to be a tough fight and you know, because he's a fighter that, that uses his distance really well. Um, so that was the difference in two fights. Hey, Canelo, straight back, Dan Rayfield. Uh, my question for you, Canelo, is uh, even though you say you were going to have the rematch uh, with uh, Dimitri Bivol in your next fight, two things about that. Would, do you think that at any point you'll reconsider that and maybe talk to Eddie and Eddie about going through with the Triple G third fight anyway back to defend your titles at super middleweight? And also, do you think you would be back in September for that next fight, or would you want to maybe take a little bit of a longer break? Yeah, we're gonna go uh, to see what's, what's next to talk about it, and and we let you know. So no commitment then that you will definitely fight people next. Eso es lo que quiero. Eso es lo que quiero. Eso es lo que pasa por mi mente ahorita nada más. Pero iremos uh, a casa y veremos qué es lo que lo que viene después. Can you translate that? Yeah, so, so we'll, we'll, this is what we want. We'll see what happens um, in the future, but we just have to wait and see what, what, what's going to happen. And just one more question, Canelo. What will you do tomorrow? Play golf, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you. So does this hurt as much as your defeat to Floyd Mayweather? Huh? Does this hurt as much as your defeat to Floyd Mayweather? ¿Duele tanto como la derrota contra Floyd Mayweather? No, la verdad que me siento muy bien. Con la frente en alto, eh, di lo mejor de mí. Eh, eh, busco otra categoría. Busco otra categoría, di lo mejor de mí. Que... Trato de buscar retos importantes para mi carrera eh, fuera eh, de mi zona de confort y me siento muy bien, me siento orgulloso de lo que estoy haciendo y con la frente en alto. So, um, no, you know, um... I don't, I don't feel that way. I feel like I can come out of this fight with my head held high because I gave the best of me in a different weight class. You know, I'm looking for challenges, uh, challenges in my career that take me out of my comfort zone. So I'm proud and I'm feeling good. So but before just, now, yeah. Golovkin had been your biggest rival. Do you think this is the rivalry that will now define your career? Could be. So um, the judges had you 4-0 up after four rounds, meaning that after the other sort of rest of the fight, you'd only won one round. Just your thoughts on that? Sí, en los primeros rounds, los jueces ya te tenían como 4 a 0, pero después, a partir de ahí, solo ganaste un round. Um, ¿Cómo ves uh, la decisión? No, no tiene sentido. No tiene sentido. Pero. It is what it is. <laughs> it doesn't Canelo, uh, Coward of Sports, right here. You were light on the ropes a lot. Was that part of the strategy to try to get him to come inside? Because um, it seemed like you were on the ropes a lot, letting him, just give, giving him kind of the distance that, that he wasn't coming in the way it seemed like you wanted him to. Sí, no, me quedaba en las cuerdas, me sentía cómodo ahí, eh, bloqueando y eh, quitándome golpes, eh, obviamente para descansar un poco. No, I felt comfortable on the ropes, you know, I was there and I was able to, you know, to take, take shots and to block them and I felt really comfortable there. Saúl, eh, la última vez que perdiste fue en el 2013, como, como bien comentaba mi compañero. Eh, ahora, ya, ya que tienes eh, más edad, eh, ¿qué, ¿qué tanto ayuda la madurez que tienes para asimilar esa derrota? No, como te digo, como te digo, con la frente en alto. Estoy buscando uh, en otros pesos. Eh, eh, obviamente retos importantes para mi carrera y en otros pesos, fuera de mi zona de confort, en mi peso les gané a todos los campeones ahora subo otra división eh, como te digo, me siento bien y fuiste competitivo de... fui, eh, lo hice muy bien, para mí como te digo gané eh, con la frente en alto y, 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 y no, no me avergüenzo de nada me siento orgulloso de lo que, de lo que estoy haciendo 
so the question was the last time you, you tasted defeat was in 2013 now you're older does that maturity help you to overcome this defeat um, no I feel good I feel like as I said before I can keep my head up um, I'm looking for challenges in different weight classes um, so it's I'm looking to make big steps and do you know huge things in my career outside of my comfort zone um, so I believe that you know I did well I'm doing things outside of my my, div, my division and as I say, you know, I thought I thought I won, so there's no shame in in doing what I did. You know, I'm proud of what I've achieved. Michelle, um, hi, Canelo. Um, I just spoke with Dimitri Bivol and Vadim just now, and they said that the only way they would go through with a rematch is if you renegotiated the terms that they initially signed to, because they just did it for an opportunity. Are you willing to do that? We'll see. Mike, uh, Mike Hoppinger, ESPN. Canelo, you know, you, you said uh, earlier that you were a little tired over the, the late rounds, and it kind of showed. Do you think that was because of the added weight? I mean, you, you said your 168 is your best weight, and do you think that hurt you in the fight, the extra weight? You said that you felt a little bit fatigued for entering in the last round. Do you think that was the motive of this? It was the weight that you were playing? Maybe, 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 Obviously, you had barely lost a round since the Gennady Golovkin rematch in 2018, and you know you're coast, you know cruising past all these really good fighters. Do you do you think it's going to make you an even better fighter now, having to go through a rematch, try to avenge a loss? That this is going to push you to new heights? Sí, obviamente um, desde la pelea con Triple G 2008 casi no no pierdes un round um, y has ganado fácilmente, pero el de hecho que tuviste que trabajar mucho hoy eh, significa va a significar que vas a aprender mucho, vas a ser un peleador mejor. Sí, siempre me aprendo y siempre me gusta aprender de todo. Hoy aprendí mucho y, y, y lo voy a mostrar en las siguientes peleas. Yeah, I always like to, to learn from things. Um, today I feel like a, I learned a lot and I'm going to show you this in the upcoming fights. And lastly, um, you know, obviously there's a lot of talk about the PBC side with Charlo and Benavidez. You said you didn't want to fight those guys because they didn't have a title. And um, in hindsight, I guess, do you, feel, do you feel comfortable knowing that you took on the toughest challenge and went toward the fire at a higher weight against, a, you know, who's considered a better fighter? Sí, obviamente, eh, hablamos un poco de, de la charla de PBC. Eh, Charlo Benavidas, que dijiste que no querías esa pelea porque no tienen títulos, eh, pero pensando en esta hora, eh, ¿piensas que fue la decisión correcta ya de buscar esta pelea que más difícil? Con... Sí, era lo que queríamos y como te digo, me siento orgulloso de, de salirme de mi zona de confort y buscar estos retos importantes para mi carrera. Sí, como te dije antes, creo que es muy importante para mí salir de mi zona de confort y look to take on these challenges en mi carrera. Uh, Radio Rahim, you said that you believe you won the fight. Now, during the fight, was there any point in which you thought you might be behind on the scorecards? No. And if you had known you were behind on the scorecards, would you have fought any differently? It's more aggressive, I think. Canelo, un mensaje para México. México estuvo paralizado, como dicen, y los perros salieron a las calles. ¿Qué mensaje le dices del corazón? Porque tú lo dijiste. Yo represento a México y México tiene que estar contigo en las buenas y en las malas. Pues que así es esto, se gana, se pierde, pero con mucho orgullo represento a mi país, hice lo que tenía que hacer, eh, hice lo mejor, di lo mejor de mí, con mucho orgullo lo hago, eh, vamos a regresar más fuertes y que gracias por todo su apoyo. El mensaje sería atreverse aunque sea difícil. Así es, siempre hay que, hay que buscar eh, más y, y, y sin miedo al éxito. So the question was, can you give a, give a message to the people in Mexico? Because obviously Mexico is completely paralyzed, people watching this fight, um, and you said as a good Mexican, you know, you represent them. Can you, a message for them? Um, my message is that, you know, this is, this is boxing. You win, sometimes you lose. I gave the best version of myself, and, you know, I'll come back stronger, and, and I'm pleased to have your support with me. Um, Guys, that's all the questions. Thank you very much for your support tonight, nice. and, and thank you, Sal. Thank you.